my nerves get rattled sometimes when the ship's rocking and rolling um, because the aircraft changes its angle and it doesn't stay level. If anything happens, you have to know what to do uh, split second. This is lives on, the, lives on the line. What he was saying is, I'm about to engage the rotor head. And then he pulled the rotor brake off, which released the, the blades to just start spinning up. I am the uh, LSE, that's landing signalman enlisted. I'm overall in charge of anything that happens on the flight deck. Nothing happens without me allowing it to happen. I'll signal to the pilot, the chains. I have two of them on this side, and I'll run my hand, the back of my hand down both chains. Look at the other side, let them know chains. I have two on this side. I'll run them down the other side, and then let them know that the chalks have been removed. He can take off safely. Fox Corbin, 028 at 18, have a great flight. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, it, we do everything from flying 10 feet off the water when we're doing star jumps to flying 10,000 feet above the clouds to provide this huge radar coverage to everything in between. Uh, this bird is extremely versatile and, I don't know, flying out at, at the ocean is, is just, it's fantastic. You are operating a device in there that's a FLIR. What is a FLIR? Forward looking infrared. It's actually this device right here. It's uh, an infrared camera, reads heat, and signature, heat signatures. So uh, we can usually see, uh, depending on the weather, it's hard to see through moisture. Depending on the weather, though, we can usually see up to 15 miles. So we can get, usually get a pretty good picture with it. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth there it is. Yep, Elizabeth Schultz. Basically, when we come over deck, what we do is we lower this probe in the back, and uh, it's basically just a little probe that comes down about a foot out of the bottom of the helicopter, and then we have a trap on the bottom of the flight deck on the ship that actually locks this probe into place. And then the beams, there's two beams on the trap that'll actually close like teeth around this trap. So that it locks the helicopter in place when the ship's uh, rocking back and forth. It's an issue of honor for me that I do the job I do as well as I do and how I do it. We're the best at what we do and uh, we, like, we love to do it. And we take pride in uh, everything that we do at all times. It's actually become a very personal, very internalized thing because I'm working with the best set of guys I've ever had the chance to work with. All of my maintainers, my pilots, my air crewmen, and uh, I really can't see how I will have any job after this that will mean more to me than the chance to work with these guys. So everything I do is for them. And it's just an extreme honor to be able to say that I have the privilege to lead my guys.